So the amount of information you can obtain from social media these days is just beyond measures. You can learn how to repair your electronics. You can learn how to cook your favorite dish. You can find a review on a product. You can pretty much find anything you want online, any tutorials, any information that you need with a click of a button, just search up the topic and you'll find it online. With that overflow of information, it can be overwhelming and it can get to a point where you just don't know what to believe or who to trust because there's just so much information out there. All right, I can't wait to have these eggs here. And I'm hungry. Stop thinking eggs are healthy. It's literally illegal to promote them as a healthy food. You can simply look what? it up. It also increases your risk of being diabetic. I guess I'm not having these anymore. Well, you know what? I'm just going to make myself a salad. Nice and healthy green salad. You here. sometimes ask me which vegetables are okay to eat. My answer I shouldn't be eating vegetables? is no. Uh, all right. Guess I won't be making a salad. Well, vegetables won't work. I got myself some leftover steak. This is the reason why you shouldn't be eating meat. Processed meat is huh? considered to be a group one carcinogen. Same mm. as tobacco smoke. Same as smoking? Oh, damn it. You know what then? I'm just gonna have a nice good old fruit. There's nice a new study right that here. came out on fruits. that will change how you think about fruits forever. Oh. After six months, the group that had four servings of fruit had significantly oh. higher BMI. Their fatty what? liver worsened. The fruits we eat today are not the same fruits that are found on this planet. What am I supposed to eat then? You know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna have a glass of water. They always tell you to drink more water, right? Why I stopped drinking water and why you should too. Part three. We are unfortunately being poisoned through our water systems and our food. Can't drink water? The hell am I supposed to eat then? Hey everyone, I'm Terry. I'm an online health and fitness coach here to help you thrive and provide you with no BS information because with the current state of social media, there's just so much crap out there. So I'm here to help you provide you with the information give you the tools that you need to help you succeed with whatever your fitness goals may be whether that be building muscle building strength losing body fat i'm here to help you with that so if that does interest you make sure you consider subscribing down below for future content and if you do want to see the show notes for this video i will have a link down in the description for you so with the current state of the fitness industry on social media i feel like it can be overwhelming for new individuals beginners who are coming in trying to learn about exercise and nutrition and they just don't know who they should listen to because there's just a wide variety of opinions out there and information and with the rise of tiktok i feel like i'm in high school again you have your different cliques and groups of people you have your carnivore group you have your vegan group you have your fasting group you have your detox group you just have so many conflicting views and groups of people and that list goes on and on even though this was already existing on instagram the potential of some of these videos being able to go viral and exploding on the internet just give the information that's being presented a bit more meaning and especially if you're naive and you never really stepped into the space to learn about nutrition or exercise you can just take this information for face value and not really do your research and just say hey this person has a million views on this video and it has all these people commenting oh I agree and some people might disagree but majority of people agree so that information must be correct right and that's not really true even though there might be people who may find the information helpful and it might work for them it might not be applicable for you so if you are new to exercise and nutrition here are the questions I will be going over in order to know if the information that you're looking at is legitimate and if it applies to what you want to achieve the first question you need to be asking yourself is how is the information being presented and is the person talking in absolutes because when it comes to your nutrition and your exercise there isn't just one way of doing things there are different paths you can take to achieve one goal however there are principles that you do need to follow for example if you do want to lose weight you need to be in a calorie deficit that's the basic law of thermodynamics and it's freaking mind-blowing to me that some of these content creators or nutrition experts think that you don't have to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose weight or try to explain to people that calorie deficit is a lie. Well, in fact, they're telling lies to people. Just remember that not every single piece of information is going to be applicable to you. And if someone is just blatantly saying you should avoid these foods or you should only do this or you should never do this, 
then you know that's a red flag. Also, another question you should be asking yourself is, are there any fear mongering tactics being used? This type of video tend to blow up all over social media because people play into the fear of the audience and they say things like, avoid these ingredients, it will cause cancer. Don't eat this specific type of food because it will destroy your health. And especially the one about aspartame, I've seen a ton of videos about this. It's not going to destroy your health. There's research out there to show that it can be beneficial for someone to drink diet sodas or drinks in replacement of regular sugar in order to help them lose weight. And it's crazy to me that these people are making videos saying that you should avoid diet sodas or you should avoid all these chemicals when in reality they are not harmful as long as you're not consuming a ton of it in one sitting. And for anyone to consume that much in one sitting, it will be very hard to do so. So don't let these videos scare you from eating a specific type of food because unless you have some type of predisposed health condition, you can still enjoy the food you like in moderation and still lose weight and better your health. And a third question to ask is, is the individual trying to oversell you their products or services. Now I have no issues with people selling their product or services. I have a coaching service and if you're interested, there will be a link down in the description if you want to sign up for coaching. But if someone is trying to oversell you and tell you that their product is going to automatically or magically help you lose weight or if their program is going to help you lose 50 pounds in four weeks just some outrageous statement then you know it's too good to be true because there isn't a powder a supplement or a program that's going to 100 guarantee your success at weight loss because your commitment and your efforts will matter as well there are so many conflicting views these days in the fitness industry i remember when i first started lifting the only information that I was able to obtain was from the jack dude in the gym that was kind enough to come up to me and help me out with my exercise technique and also give me some advice about nutrition but nowadays you can just go on the phone and figure out all this stuff yourself but there's just so much information out there so I want to make sure you get the information that you need that's helpful for your situation and what you're trying to accomplish. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe for more fitness content in the future. I'll see you on the next one.